today is finally the day. I'm going to share my Macari video. I mentioned this several videos past that I've made 10 sales. I'm actually on my 14th sale right now. So I feel like I'm in a good spot to kind of give you some pros and cons to Macari. And I'm going to be going back and forth, not just doing all likes and all dislikes. I'm going to switch it up a little. The first thing that I absolutely love about Macari, and this is a feature that I wish eBay had, honestly, and that is text alerts. I will usually get a text first telling me about a sale way before I get the actual notification on the app. It's crazy. And I just love how fast it is. And cause see, I don't always have Wi-Fi. you know? We don't have Wi-Fi at the house, we just get it from the library. And you only get it out for a week. So by having the text alerts on, I get it without having Wi-Fi and then I can hop on and take it down from eBay if I have to or whatnot. I don't like that you only have 12 pictures for a listing. I really wish that they upped it more. For me, I love taking a lot of pictures of an item because the pictures should do all the talking. A lot of buyers don't even look past pictures in the title, so you have to put everything in there. And limiting it to only 12, especially if you want to get like all different angles or if your item has some defects that you want to make sure you have in there, you know, then you're limited on what you can and can't share. But it is better than Facebook Marketplace. You only have 10 on there, which is worse. When it comes to using your balance, you can choose when you want to deposit your money. You don't have to deposit the whole amount. You can do whatever amount you want, when you want. If you want instant payment, like instant, because I've used instant before and it is instant. There's a $3 fee for instant, $2 for regular. The shipping can be kind of high on some things. I have one item on there, a big stuffed animal, and it will go in like a bigger box. And the cheapest shipping you can get is like $13.99. So it's kind of high, really, and that's for the UPS. So, I mean, shipping is sort of high on some things. But if you are shipping something small and it's under a pound, they're super cheap, like $3.99, $4.99. So, I don't know, shipping is kind of iffy. I think Macari is really good for selling small things because the shipping is going to be a lot cheaper. I really do like is how user friendly the site is. And I'm talking from a seller's point of view. Listing an item on there could take mere minutes. If you know what you're doing and if you kind of have all the information you need, it's very short, very easy. And listing is especially easy and fast now if you are cross listing. They have a new feature where you can just import your listings and you just copy and paste the URL from wherever you're moving it to and it is honestly a time saver. Checking comps or checking to see basically the competition and how like this item you have, how it's sold or anything, which it's not super in-depth. eBay is really good about like doing your research and finding everything out. They're in-depth, which you can kind of just do that on eBay then take your information over to Macari, but if you're just doing it on Macari, no eBay, um, I just copy and paste the title into the search and try to get as many results to come up that match the item and they'll have like the sold or available and then you just kind of compare the numbers to see how many sold. They don't tell you when they sold and yeah so and then you click on the listing and it'll show you like shipping and everything like just the, the actual page listing. So it's not really in depth. It, kind of gives you a vague idea about how much to list it for, but honestly, I don't know, you kind of just have to guess your best. I would honestly love it if they got some sort of like Terra Peaks like eBay has, or now it's called like just product research. I would love if they got something like that. It would be really helpful. So overall, I love Macari. I love how easy it is. I love the text features and just um, the whole process is great. I started cross listing last year around November, I think. I, th I think because like sales were just horrible. Like I wasn't getting anything. And at that time I was just eBay and eBay, I was getting nothing. It was dry. And it's like, this is my income. Like I need to do something. I started looking around at other cross-listing platforms to, to list and Macari was a semi big. A lot of other people do like Poshmark and stuff. I think it's Poshmark. I don't know. Poshmark, but that's mostly for clothes and I don't do, I don't sell clothes. So Macari was, I think the best choice for me and I love it. So if you're considering either cross-listing, adding a new platform to your e-commerce 
business. I would recommend Macari, and some people Macari is basically just a dead platform and they got rid of it. I wouldn't count it out completely. I would give it a try to see. It may take some time to see some activity and get some sales on there, but I think it's worth the wait. So let me know, do you already use Macari? What are your thoughts and opinions? Is it yay or nay or somewhere in the middle? I would love to hear from you guys. Drop a comment. So I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support and encouragement. So until next time, have a great day.